Hello, my name is Lindsay Donhauser, and I'm the coordinator for WPC 101 Student Success in Business. I wanted to take a moment to walk you through your Blackboard course shell so that you'll be able to find all the information you need this semester for WPC 101. When you log into the Blackboard homepage, you'll see an announcements location for WPC 101. This is where your facilitator can post any updates for you between class time. The great thing about the announcements tool feature is that not only can you see the most recent announcements, but you'll also be able to see an archive of all the past announcements. The second area of Blackboard will be the facilitator information. This is where you'll be able to find the email address, phone number, and office location of your facilitator. Most facilitators will also hold a set office hour each week. This is a great time to stop by and discuss your progress in WPC 101 and any questions that you might have about being a student at ASU or in WP Carey. The third area will be your course syllabus and that will be customized to your individual course date and time. Make sure that you download your course's individual syllabus and don't go off of a friend syllabus because the dates will be different based upon your class time. The fourth location is a course assignments and these are the major graded assignments for all WPC 101 courses. The first assignment that will be graded is reflection number one so we'll start there. If you click into this course module you'll find an assignment description listing any background information, questions you should answer, and essential content and formatting requirements for this particular assignment. For the reflection you're also asked to watch a video which has been embedded for you very easily to watch in, in Blackboard. You can simply click the play button and view the YouTube video or you can, can click out to view the video in YouTube itself. Every assignment has a grading rubric associated with it. This will allow you to see how your facilitator will rate and score your individual assignments. For this reflection rubric, you'll notice that specific detail and organization are just as important as grammar and spelling usage. You want to make sure you understand all the categories before you finalize your project. The final area in each module will be the submission location. Reflection number one asks you to submit a file either as a .docx, .doc, .pdf, or .rtf and it's very simple to upload. Simply go to View Complete and it will bring you to an upload location. You can scroll down to the second area, choose the file. I've saved mine on the desktop. Again, making sure that you use one of the accepted file formats. Choose the file. Decide whether or not you'd like to submit to the Global Reference Database, a way that internationally you can protect your work against any sort of academic integrity violation. In some ways, this associates your work with your name across all universities in the world. I always agree to submit my paper to the Global Reference Database and then simply click Submit. It may take a moment or two for your assignment to go through, but if the assignment has been successfully submitted, you'll get a green notification bar across the top. You can also check your submission by going to check your grades on the left hand side and you'll see an icon when an assignment has been submitted and is awaiting grading. There are a couple other areas in Blackboard that I want to introduce you to. One is for the faculty lecture series. There's a live calendar so that you can see in the months of September, October, and November the dates, times, and locations of each of the faculty lectures whether that be on the Tempe campus on Fridays or Polytechnic or West Campus faculty lectures that you're also invited to go to. Every lecture is linked to a map so you don't have to get lost, you'll always know where you need to go. Once you've completed a lecture, you can post a reaction. Simply click into the blog forum and click create a blog entry. Give it a title and type your message following the assignment guidelines and when you're done you can post the entry. I'm going to click cancel since I haven't sat in on a faculty lecture. Make sure you post one reaction in September, one in October, and one in November. One thing I'll note 
is that the two later lectures in the month are usually more packed and they are more full and oftentimes we have to turn students away. So make an effort to come to the first lecture or the second lecture of the month to assure that you get in at the time that you want. The last tab is the Student Resources tab, which gives you information related to WP Carey Undergraduate Student Resources and also ASU First Year Student Resources. You can click either of these and go to a larger website where you can get information on advising, the Business Career Center, international programs like Study Abroad, Student Life Leadership Opportunities, and Student Success Resources related to academics. The ASU First Year Student Resources link has additional resources related to financial aid, health services, support services for things like technology, disabilities, and veteran services, as well as some safety resources. Everything you need should be linked from the Blackboard page to just make sure to explore the page and find what you need. And last but not least, there's always a link to Blackboard help provided by the Blackboard software it's itself in case you find yourself lost and you need a little bit of support. So that's all for me. As the coordinator of WPC 101, I wish you the best in your first semester at ASU and don't forget, go Sun Devils.